Okay, so I'm trying this, this streaming. This is the first time I've tried an auto saving broadcast. Um, not sure how well this will work, but I'm just going to experiment yet again. I'm going to run through the sunburn easy level on this rapid fire indie game that I developed. You play as a little firefighter, and you've just come to a scene with your fire, with your um, your hose and your whistle to whistle villagers. You're looking for villages that have fire and you're trying to save save people from getting burned to death. Now, there's a bunch of different controls in this game. Some of them make it really easy to play, and they make it easier in this easy skill level anyway. So I'm gonna do that. One of them is this zoom out. I can just zoom in and see where the fire is, and it's way, way over on here on the side of the map, so it's going to take very little time to save up or collect all these villagers. So the idea is you just run around the landscape, you whistle at the villagers, and they come towards you. It's a very simple mini game thing. Could be inside of another game. I developed this in like two days. Part of a game jam. And it was, uh, that was just over a year ago. And I haven't done much of it, much work with it since. Although I do want to. Like so many things in life, I just don't have time. And one of the big things that I want to do with this game is to take, you know, well, not to be removed. I was about to say take out um, joystick game support, uh, gamepad support. I have it currently in, but the big thing about joystick support is, well, you kind of want to make it the main thing, right? You, you have a game on a console like an Xbox or Wii or PlayStation or whatever, you play it, you play it with a controller, right? Yeah, okay, so, well, games are comfortable, comfortable to play on with a controller and and so uh, that was what I thought, but it's a it's an incorrect assumption. Apparently, the whole the the um, the powers that be the the way of games on PCs and Macs. People do not generally play with controllers, even if they have them. And this is from I've I did a. a an hour or two of research looking at a dozen or so websites with people web forums and of game developers and game players that talk about playing games on the computer versus console and even if people have con ga game pads that work on their Mac or Windows they tend not to play games that require them I mean some people do but most don't. Most really don't. So the big update that I think I'll do within the next whenever, few months or whenever I get around to it, is to make this game playable with just the keyboard. And it's kind of kind of silly and I don't even know if people would want to play it. But once in a while I open it, I run it and I feel like, yeah, this is kind of fun. I'm sure some people somewhere might want to play it. Some people somewhere, sometime. They look kind of fun when they're spreading out. Let's see if I've collected everybody. It's 
So the idea of this game is inspired by the forest fires of uh, last year, 2016, in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where my sister was working, and she is still working, um, and she had to be flown out, evacuated among... She wasn't able to f drive out, the forest fire cut her off, but she was able to fly out, and then she was flown back in, then flown, re-evacuated, then flown back in for work a third time, and evacuated a third time. She was she sent me pictures from the air. And there was all 184. So I thought maybe it would be fun to... I mean, it's weird. I think it's actually kind of weird to make a forest fire game out of a game a, a tragedy or kind of almost catastrophe like that. Fortunately, nobody out of the... In the the great uh, potential t tragedy that was, nobody was killed. There's none, nobody that I can recall in the news. So, and the forest, so the forest fires fighters did a like worldwide recognizably great job in their own individual efforts as and as teams. They, yeah, I, I I have great respect for that. And I thought, you know, I want to make a game where you're saving people. <laughs> now I, I chose the uh, skill, the challenging skill level in this this play, this particular round, which is nuclear. Nuclear has three of these fire trails, and it'd be really, really nasty if they get moving fast. So right now they're not. So I can collect up all the people. Also, the villages aren't anywhere near the edge of the... Oh, look at that. The, I was going to say the villagers aren't, villages aren't anywhere near the... Ah, crap. Oh, that was close. That requires a great deal of... Huh. Keeping the villagers away from the fire. As soon as they get lit on fire, especially if they're all being herded together in a little clump, I've got a hundred of them in that little clump, they scatter like rats. And it's kind of funny to watch, but I don't want to have that happen for the moment. Or maybe I do, just for the sake of this video. Watch, see if the... Yeah, let's see about this. Well, the, forest, the fire is fortunately just kind of staying away. Unless, yeah, I'm just yeah, doing my thing. Here, I'm going to be a proper forest firefighter. Now look at that. See, that's what how they do. But imagine like a hundred of these guys. And some of them just take right off and go in a straight line away from you. You have to catch them, put the fire out after. If you let a, them, a single individual stay on fire for too long, and then then they die. And if one of the, if one single individual dies, you lose. Fortunately, the skill level also makes it gives you a long time for them to be burning before they actually perish. Okay. Now I'm going to I might actually not win this. Sometimes I think I'm doing really well and then all of a sudden I lose. Like the fire like a rogue fire, one of the trails I'm not paying attention to wanders itself right onto this crowd and boom, you got like 50 to 100 little villagers running around with fire on their head and you'll never catch them. Not all of them. Unless you really, really want to win and you're having fun. 
which is kind of the point of playing a game is to beat the challenge. So in the game design of this or polishing phase, I put a bit of time and effort into figuring out what's the best way to make this fun and not insanely hard or stupidly easy. Because it can be really hard. Like, for example, if you're trying to play the game and I force the game's camera to be zoomed in like this, it's kind of nice looking. Like, ooh, look at me, I'm adventuring around and I'm, I'm looking for the villagers and it's hard to find them because I'm zoomed in all the way. Like, it's so, it's so much easier to spot a villager if you're doing like this. You can see villagers and you can see the fire. If you're zoomed in, no. Okay, so I've got to find three more villagers before this game is over. And I'll do it zoomed in just so it looks nice. There's two of them right there. Where are the third? Where's the third? Yeah. Come on, guys. Ladies and germs. There we are. One of the other things that I wanted to do is um, save the uh, progress or the skill, save your success rate. However, I calculate that. I haven't decided even. Save the success rate um, or a, sk a grade skill level. Skill, I don't know. You know, just a way of ranking different playthroughs and there's a, diff a couple different ways I can do it um, one is the amount of time it takes you to, to play through um, I don't know how many minutes I've been doing this now but ah, there's another way is to measure how many trees have, you've cut down and then of course another one is to measure like how much injury or burn that any single individual has experienced the most. So keeping them from being burned is a nice thing. I've got quite a few trees cut down. So like, you know, if I the person wanted to say try to race through it as fast as they could but not cut down so many trees and they get a greater score for having cut down less trees. It just because it's harder, so it makes it more of a a thing to score and say, yeah, you did great. But anyway, I'm going to end this round now and call it a stream. <laughs>